Greetings, greetings. I am Dr. Robin Saleh, your very own licensed board certified functional health care practitioner and nutrition professional. I have 12 years of clinical experience in both areas of acute and chronic inflammation. Allow me to be a sense of motivation and encouragement to you along your journey to health and wellness. We do not plan to treat, cure, or prevent any type of degenerative illness or ailments. Please consult with your healthcare practitioner before integrating these educational tools and dietary tips. I have been MIA. I know you guys have missed me. I've just been in pursuit of building my healthcare practice. As you all may know, owning a business is a lot of work. So I just wanted to take some time to love on my community and also give you the luxury of being subscribed to my community. Yes, that is a luxury if I chose you to be a part of my community. So first, I just wanted to talk about the excellent services that we have that other facilities do not have. We actually have uh, functional health care that is both in person and virtual. We have a lot of stress management therapies, wellness therapies, pain management therapies. We help some with some of the conditions of high blood pressure, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancers, arthritis, stroke, these type of things, very, very serious cases that we are seeing over here on this side of the planet. And so my goal in my job and my profession is to spread awareness and how to handle things both medicinally and naturally. Anytime that you've been prescribed any type of medication, you have to seek out alternative health to balance it out. For example, there will be a time and a place to take an antibiotic or ibuprofen, but you must understand the long-term side effects of any medication that you are ingesting today. I wanted to talk a little bit about pain, okay? Now, we want to talk about this pain because we are in a pain crisis and a pain pandemic. If you are unaware, three out of four people are on some form of pain prescription drug or narcotic, including yourself. So grab a chair, grab a piece of paper and a pen. Also grab your favorite cup of coffee. Back pain. Different types of back pain can occur through poor posture. It can occur through freak accidents, injuries. It can occur through athletic injuries. It can also occur through nutritional deficiencies. But what healthcare has failed to uh, share is they don't really tell you the nutrients that you need to build yourself back up once an injury has occurred. So today, I'm going to briefly, lightly tap into pain. I do not encourage you to do this on your own. You must seek my counsel. You must be under the supervision of a professional. Please do not take this advice and go on Google because I don't want you to essentially hurt yourself um, with this advice. So always again, use this advice, advice judiciously, but also use it wisely. So, okay, so pain. The human body needs 90 essential nutrients to help combat pain. And through those 90 essential nutrients, I will guarantee that there's a possibility that you're not getting all those nutrients. So what happens is over time, due to poor digestion and malabsorption, our nutrients do not absorb. Therefore, it does not go to the bone and joint properly. Yes, majority of my client base that I'm seeing is suffering from some form of nutritional deficiency. So you say, okay, Robin, how do we fix some of these pain? How do we fix some popping and clicking in the joints? Have you ever bent over like this on an angle and you found yourself to be hearing uh, different noises and, and when you're bending over? What about in the hips? Are your hips as mobile as it should? Well, do your knees pop and click as you walk? Have you broken any bones? Do you have uh, hip and joint replacements? Do you have spinal issues, curvature in the spine? Do you have this issue? Do you have degenerative disc, osteoporosis, osteopenia, rheumatoid arthritis, or just simply aging of the bone and joints? 
Let me show you a healthy solution. You want to ingest some form of bovine trachea cartilage, okay? Essentially, when you're eating the things that you're made of, you're going to build that bone and joint back up the proper way, okay? Excessive use of medication also causes nutritional deficiencies and especially ibuprofen, which blocks the osteoblast, which makes it inherently harder for many of you to build your uh, bone and joint back up efficiently, okay? You also want to take some form of uh, glucose gel. And what glucose gel is a, is a mixture of gelatin. Yes, you need to take gelatin and some type of glucosamine. But it's not just a simple matter of going online and Amazon buying some glucosamine and some glucose gel. It is the method behind the madness. How to integrate that protocol to get your bones and joints fine properly. You want to assess the type of calciums, okay? Your body needs raw calcium. The human body was not designed to eat or ingest oyster material. Raw calcium, yes, non-isolated chemicals. Most of the isolated chemicals are coming from uh, rock material, which is coming from oysters, okay? The body needs collagen, the body needs sulfur, the body needs MSM, okay? And to help this fire, the body also needs phosphorus and trace minerals, okay? So if you're eating things that you are allergic or intolerant to, if you're drinking dirty water, if you're drinking unfiltered water, if you're breathing in consistently dirty air, these are going to be to some contributors to your uh, bones and joints deteriorating, okay? also want to have some type of activity increase your activity levels increase your daily movement because these movements is what's going to help your virility your agility and your ability to move okay there, there is really no i would say real uh arteries running through the bone there is uh there's there's uh, blood flowing through the bones, but our bones are sedentary and the only thing that we can do to keep these bones healthy is to nourish them and to move them. If you incorporate some form of high intensity interval training, some form of Pilates exercise in which we have some Pilates services here in our wellness center, you will be most likely on your road to optimal health. Okay, so I hope that you found this information to be quite insightful yet informative along your journey to health and wellness. Thank you and you have an awesome day.